Happy New Year, everybody. We are in 2020. God, I love saying that. <laughs> 2020. We're in a new decade. And how many of you have written 2019? I did it once. I swore I was like, it's so easy to write 2020 instead of 2019. Anyways, this is the Sugar Muses Deluxe Box. Uh, I just did an unboxing of The Witch's Moon. And I'm super tired and I got off work at midnight and it's like almost 3 in the morning. But I... Stop it, Freddie. You always do that. Stop it. I'm going to do another box. This one, I had to wait for it to dry out a little bit. It was sitting in the rain. And just like in my last video, it is just howling outside. It's raining and raining and raining. We're supposed to get a giant snowstorm. But so far, no snow. Um, that's fine with me. Don't have to have snow. Okay, let's open this. You know, see how soft it is? Because it's been out in the rain. I hope its contents are okay. Mm. It is very pliable though, because it's wet. Uh-oh. Freddie, come on. You're making these this is very difficult. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just kind of peeling away. Oh wow. Um oh, some more cut off. Freddie, this is really awkward. Super awkward. Don't. Okay, it's upside down. Okay, here it is. Wise counsel. Take my knife away. Fold it up. I think I need my glasses. I really do think I need my glasses. Okay, hopefully this isn't too much glare. I just, I can't see this writing. Hey, this has a triangle too. It's like Witch's Moon. Okay, a raven and a triangle. That's my oracle card. Please hold the line. Restez en ligne, s'il vous plaît. That's French, horrible. French, I just chopped it up. Sorry, people from France or French speaking nations. I love the, um, I love French, but you have to get the accent right. So, January 2020, the Renewal Wise Council Growth, the deluxe news box for January. You know what? I'm going to try this. We'll see if it works. I don't have a lot of faith in this one, but we'll see. Stop it, Freddy. And yeah, there's like a shadow there. Stop it! Annoying. Where's the other one? But if you guys, <laughs> it's like nudging my arm. If this one doesn't do it, then I'm just going to stop altogether until I get better equipment. Okay. Wise counsel. Sounds like court. Okay. Wise counsel. Artwork by Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. Look at this. Raven. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the wrapping is like snowflakes. I don't want to keep nudging me. And botanical offering. Let's see what this is. I don't know what this is, pretty. Oh. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see that. A bunch of botanical. Okay. Um, let me just read this. In bulk is a holiday celebrated by many Wiccans and pagans has a variety of other names depending on which culture and location you're looking at. Other celebrations that fall around in bulk, February 1st and 2nd, include the Roman 
Rupert Haley at Stop It, February 13th to 15th, Egypt's Feast of Nut, February 1st, and in Northern tradition, Germanic Norse Disting Charming the Plow. All celebrate and represent the rebirth of the sun, the longer daylight hours, and the promise of renewal. Yes. I can't, I mean, it doesn't seem like there's going to be sun for a while. It's still super dark, very early up here in the northern latitudes, but I'm looking forward to the sun. Um, okay. In modern times, Distinct Charming of the Plow is celebrated February 2nd to coincide with the Celtic in bulk and because it is a cross quarter day midway between Yule and Ostara. It is a source of American Groundhog Day celebration because the spring, spring equinox is six weeks away. This is a feast of new beginnings and renewal at which the fruits of the year to come is blessed. The earth is preparing to have the seeds sown so that the growth in abundance will take place in the land. Freya is honored at this time. However, it is important to remember that we are still in winter. <laughs> of course, we would forget out here. And the dark tendrils of the cold are still frozen tightly on most of the Northern Hemisphere. Some darker aspects of the divine are also appropriately honored, such as Odin with his many aspects and associations. Freya, the Norse goddess of love, beauty, witchcraft, fertility, crops, and gold abundance, and is one of the major goddesses of, North, of Norse mythology. Aphrodite would be considered her Greek goddess equivalent or counterpart. She practiced Norse witchcraft called cider, satyr, which is a solitary art where this, it's hard to see. The side witch was not a member of a coven as found as Wicca and similar new age construct. Um, is It's a form of magic that was mainly done by women. It is said that Freya was the mistress of this art and taught taught it to Odin. This type of traditional witchcraft flourished during the Northern European Iron Age. This practice requires altering consciousness and raising energy. It includes shamanic skills such as spirit journey, stop it, journeying, journeying, and weather working, spell casting, divination, and shape energy through word and will. Um, Magical content, contents of this box can be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do so. Okay, so let's start. It's all, always so beautifully packaged. You have like black and white and it's like, I think it's real too. Part of a pine tree. Okay. So, There's the black candle to the left and the white candle to the right of the mirror. Oh, we're getting a mirror. Some traditional, the black candle represents the goddess feminine yin energy and the white can candle represents the god masculine yang energy. Some people say yang, some people say yang. My acupuncturist says yang. Black is also burned for protection, hex breaking, and repelling. White candles are burned for cleansing, purifying, and truth. And this is the bot botanical offering. Evergreen branch, which is this in the front, in ruin if you have them in front of the mirror. Okay, so this is vanilla, ooh, natural lip balm. I love vanilla. I think I'm gonna have to cut this. Oh, darn it. I don't think it's gonna give. I don't wanna rip this all up. Well, you know what, maybe I will. I gotta get to it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. I'm destroying this for you guys. There's a cap on top. Oh, here it is. It smells like vanilla. It was kind of like a chapstick, but better. Much better. Okay. 
that is not the usual so I like that incense Dragon's blood incense sticks. Dragon's blood is burned as incense for power, protection, love, and healing. Dragon's blood is associated with the element of fire. Oh, I just love that fire. So it is often used in rituals that involve the sun or increased power, allow the smoke to cleanse your space and alter items. In some traditions, the incense is crushed and... Stop it! I told you to stop it. Now I lost my way. I lost my place. For sun increased power, allow the smoke to cleanse your space and alter items. In some traditions, the incense is crushed and blended into oil to anoint candles and sacred tools. Well, here's the card that we get. Oh, looks like a phoenix. This is bad. What is it, Freddy? Hmm? Is it a pin? Oh, it's a pin. That's interesting. Do you just like wear this or put it somewhere? Hmm. Okay, this is it right here. See the back? Here's the backing to it. Okay, see that? And this is the front. It's probably made out of pewter. I can't wait to see the mirror. Raven pin. Ch charge your pin to form a link between yourself and the cosmic forces that will operate through it by performing a simple act of empowerment. To do this, first pass through the smoke of your incense. Yada, yada, yada. Um... Picture shaft of okay, this is what you're you guys don't probably want to hear this, but it just tells you like what to do with it, like how to you know, like visualize. So, um, buddy. okay, either stay or go down. You want to go down so I can do this better. Um, the lip balm, vanilla lip balm, this handmade organic lip balm contains soybean oil beeswax, sunflower seed oil, cocoa seed butter, shea butter fruit, aloe leaf juice, and vanilla flavoring. Gently score around the lid with your finger so the sealed top comes off more easily. I didn't have that kind of patience. And the Odin art is by Carrie. I think I mentioned that. And what else is in here? How can I miss that? <gasps> You're ruining a moment. Yeah. Is that great or is that great? That's great. And it does, it has one of these stands on the back stand. Look at that. That's freaking awesome. Ow! I don't want it to glare on you, so I'll just push this back a little bit. Um, is this some kind of oil or soap? Oh, it looks like oil. And always packaged well. And. I love these bottles, aren't they cool looking? And this says Odin oil sugar mousses. Okay, what's this? I hope it's made from vanilla, like lip balm. Mm, let's see. Here it is. Oh, oil. It's probably on this page. Odin ritual oil, shake gently before using, anoint your pulse points, 
and third eye anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself. Okay, what's in it? It has, contains essential oils of pine, rosemary, vetiver, sandalwood, patchouli, and organic almond oil base with vitamin E. Nice. I think we got a gold one not too long ago. Oh, here's a silver one. And looks like a tea. Organic tea, rubos, asphalathus linearius. Something straight, linear straight. What does this say? Tea. Tea, usually they have it at the end of sugar muses. Stop it. Um, it is. And there's a tea strainer included in the box. So, ready, stop it. This is just all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. It was just soaking wet in the rain. Um, maybe, is this it? This must be the tea strainer. And I'm sorry, you guys, I'm so tired. I just don't want you guys to have to wait. I got these just like a day apart. I got the sugar muses today and I got the, oh, I guess it's not, it's not the strainer. This looks like amber. It does a little, especially since I have all that light shining through. Raw amber. Amber is power, powerful stone for manifestation. Um, bring strength to spell working and bring pros prosperity to every magical act. Small class of organic gems, neither a crystal nor a mineral. I think it's, isn't it a resin? Maybe not. Oh, it is a resin, a protective resin that is derived from living trees in dense prehistoric forests and fossilized over millions of years. Powerful too for past life recall. Stimulating the remembrance of genetic lessons and experiences passed down from one's ancestors. It is associated with the element of fire and protective stone. Freya, Freya is said to weep tears of amber as, and she is associated with wearing the, jeez, her cinnamon amber necklace. Is there anything else in this? I think that's it. Okay, I'm gonna clear this. So I can lay it out for all of you guys. Sorry this was wet. We're supposed to be getting snow. I actually prefer the rain to the snow. I'm not complaining about the rain. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here. You know, you know when you have a lot of stuff, when you can't find stuff, and you try to organize stuff, and then you find more stuff and you want to organize it in a different way and if you haven't come to that point already where you, you feel like you have a lot of stuff you will you know before i started it was like oh i don't have any stuff and then you get to a point especially if you get these boxes where you just have so much stuff and you give it away to people um and that's great too but you know, to the ones that are just starting out, don't fret, don't worry. You'll you'll accumulate this stuff, even if you buy the little boxes. I mean, you don't even really have to buy boxes. You just accumulate stuff. I mean, you can find stuff in nature. So you can find twigs, stones, rocks, seawater, river water. And it's more of the intent than anything. So I'm gonna line this up for you guys. Okay. Mirror is amazing. Huh, there's my blood moon. See, I framed it. I really do frame things. Okay, here is. What if I have room for this? Power offering. Okay, I'm still working on this. I'm far enough away. 
this triangle. I guess that's an oracle card. Everyone gets one. And this is the Raven artwork. This is the black and white candle. Is that going to stay up? No way. My luck? No. Oh, it did. It did. Let's see how long it stays there. The vanilla balm. That was a treat. I wasn't expecting that. The amber and the oil back here. And the tea. That's a fabulous mirror. That's for men and women. I think it's awesome. I think it's unisex. I mean, anyone can. Now, Freddie. Pull this back a little bit so you guys can see it. So this is Sugar Muse's Deluxe Box for 2020. And here's, oh, here's the pin. It's really hard to get this. I'm gonna have to get organized at some point. But yeah, really liking it. I love this mirror, I love this mirror. It's great. So, um, hey, Freddie, you're ruining the light. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, y'all, thanks for joining me. Sorry about the interruptions, and I'll, um, tell me what you think of this, of this, um, sugar muses. I like it. I like the, stop it. The Witch's Moon, too. Oh my God, I don't know why he's so squirrely, honestly. I don't know what's gotten into him. What is wrong with you? What is it, Freddy? <coughs> what? People are looking at you. Okay, you want you want everyone to see you? Everyone to see all of you? Is that what it is? You wanna be the star? You wanna be the star? Okay, here you are. Be the star. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just put you down. <laughs> Because you're acting really weird. Okay, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, I did the Witch's Moon in the prior video. And this is the Sugar Muses Deluxe Box for January 2020. And I have two more boxes coming. And it's the Witch's Roots. It's like, it's the smaller version. And then there's the um, Midnight Muses. So I'm going to do those later. And Freddie is tearing the box apart right now. So um, thanks for joining me. I'm sorry that I, I wish I could have gotten this out earlier today, but I was working. But I didn't want to go to sleep without giving, you know, these reviews and unboxing this. And this is freaking awesome. Anyways, bye you guys. And I will see you soon.